Gastón Acurio's culinary empire reaches beyond the shores of Lima, and for a while now, him and his dedicated team of chefs have called Miami home. Most recently, they have embarked on Harana, meaning celebration. After opening his first location in Jersey, they chose one of the largest mall in America, Aventura Mall, to open its second location. We came during a quiet lunch. The menu was concise, but it did the job. After ordering, we had the pleasure to meet one of Gaston's Titan chefs, Martha Palacios, who agreed for an interview in a full video in our channel. Chef is friendly, talented, welcoming, and has a fascinating story worth sharing. It wasn't long before we got Chicha Murada, by far the best chichas I've ever had, have been in Gaston's restaurants. In my last video of Olegón in Lima, you can check that out. Gaston Acurio, buddy, here you go. This is for you. Cheers. Um, then came the causa. The causa casera had layered potatoes with avocados, egg, Juancaina sauce, which sometimes you normally don't see, but it was a great touch, and the imperative chicken salad with mayo. Here, as you can see, put on top, which is a great adjustment. Excellent. Michelle me acaba de dar un poco de su causa y solamente me dio un bocadito porque le encanta. Está increíble. Creo que es la mejor causa de, de, de pollo que hemos, hemos tenido, ¿no? Maravilloso. Está muy buena esta causa. Muy buena, muy cremosa. Miren esto, miren esto. Miren este ceviche criollo maravilloso, bello. Miren el, el calamari frito. El calamari, calamari, calamari. Calamar está frito. Miren los tentáculos acá. Y miren ese color bello. Next was the pulpo al olivo, which was not available for lunch, but they hooked me up. I am a sucker for this dish ever since I had it at Punta Azul in Lima. It was really fresh, it was really delicious, and it had a great balance of acidity and saltiness. I absolutely love octopus. Now, this one had chimichurri, and it had a unique touch and great presentation, but for the price to offer just regular plain crackers, I think they could have done better. In this case, Punto Azul in Lima takes the win. If you have not watched the video, I suggest that you watch it and enjoy it. It was by far one of the best cevicherias I've had in Lima. Buenazo. Buenazo, buenazo, buenazo. El pulpo está suave. La crema de olivo, perfecto. Y tiene un chimichurro encima que le da un toque excelente. Me encantó. Look, my trip to Florida this time was personal for both my wife and I. Towards the end of the week, we had a graduation on my wife's side of the family. Congratulations, Steph. And we ended up changing venues from a different Peruvian restaurant to this one. I think it was worth it. There were a few little hiccups here and there, but here's the food. Check it out. Enjoy it. Towards the end, of course, we had to order their picarones. Outside from the picarones that I had in Plaza Kennedy, these were the best ones. There were two key differences. The ones here, they have aniseed, and then also the chancaca. That syrup I can eat by itself. Now, if you haven't watched the video, you can also go watch the video on how I ate this famous picarones found in Netflix, Latin American Foods, that I ate there in Lima, in Plaza Kennedy. Muchas gracias, que belleza. Chicha morada? Si, sí, señor. Oh, they're nice and soft. And maybe, maybe you can hear, nice and crispy.
it's that sauce right there that makes it, to be quite honest. Absolutely soft and delicious. And crispy. There's like a little hint of caramel, obviously, but then also like coconut in there. A little nuttiness. And they're super light and fluffy. But other than that, it was almost a tie between both of them. It was almost the same. Keep starving. Mm -hmm.